Ghana for me, my moon, now crab, I said, she will be a baby, I will be a Befa Quenya will swab or Mampani, Dramani Mahama, a basso. So then, I see from the crime and chroma circle, ammonia interchange, for fraud, said the bit me a traffic na a flow, a babboa, and my activities in a crab. I am very, 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 very meaningful to every Ghanaian. And I feel how we bank crying at the ABD Jano. Said on one number two movement, no bear hurry. Can you any old Ghana not traffic? Would do circle and yes, come on. Did this move be in touch in the ABB? A best dress will be uncompromising to a mere best she said, Yafa, a year traffic now at home, road diversion near the Rema now traffic now a jam a lot because of the construction work currently underway. Best way Ghana for in a name run so. Say they beat me and my contractors. Now you might idea show on most on a base smoothly. The next two years, as promised by the government, you know, they can be able to execute the job on time. In present two years, now for the BVS, you know, ten, now five years, now three years. Now they, then you know, be in order. Be in a year so Ghana for no. Say they beat me and my contractors. You know, the cars and drivers, you know, far near your road diversion. I see this one near far. Now my baby, I cost you my penny. Ya boa baso koswa na mwenye mwa e improve gana mwisi si na kuno mwenye fe ti mwa mwishwe mfu ni isa de de new gana e babe especially kwa mikro maseka After he was sworn in as president of the Republic of Ghana, John Dramani Mahama outlined what some said was an ambitious plan to accelerate the provision of infrastructure across the country. One of the areas of focus for the president was the rail sector. For President Mahama, there is the need to further open up the country to allow for easier access and movements of especially goods. One of the major road projects announced was the Kwame Nkrumah Circle in the capital, Accra. Work will commence this year on a new interchange at the Kwame Nkrumah Circle. As promised, Quiroz Galvaro Construction of Brazil has moved to site and work has commenced on a 74.8 million euro new three-tier interchange. The construction works will take two years to complete and when completed, the three-tier interchange will transform the Kwame Nkrumah Circle into a pedestrian and motorist-friendly zone with linkages to various suburbs. The Kwame Nkrumah Circle is located within the center of the city of Accra and part of a long stretch of road known as the Ring Road. It is a major transportation mode within the city serving as an interchange mode for most suburbs. A number of transportation terminals and stations are located within a 500 meter radius within the intersection. The numerous commercial activities within the vicinity make it a major attraction point. The runabout is currently experiencing a lot of congestion resulting in major delays and lengthy travel times. The traditional peak and off-peak periods no longer exist. Congested conditions are prevalent at all times of the day which has necessitated the presence of the police to assist in traffic flow. Pedestrian volumes in and around the runabout are extremely high. During the rainy season, the Odo River, which crosses the Ring Road West about 290 meters from the Kwame Koma Avenue, gets flooded. This usually prevents access for vehicles using the Ring Road West Bridge and worsens traffic flow at the runabout. The new three-tier interchange at the Kwame Nkrumah Circle is designed to tackle all these challenges. The first level of the flyover will be between the Akasanoma Road towards the Accra Newtown Junction on the Insuan Road and also from the Newtown Junction on the Insuan Road to the Kwame Nkrumah Avenue around PTC in the opposite direction. The second level flyover is on the Ring Road between the Farnofa Bridge and the foyer and connects the Ring Road Central to the Ring Road West. The ground level has a roundabout at the existing circle. The Ring Road flyover also lifts the Ring Road above the Odor River and the rail lines. This allows for pedestrians and public transport operations on the ground level. 
Over the next two years, we appeal to motorists and the general public to observe the contractor's diversion and safety directives 